introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Mark Jobs. Um, I'm the head coach and the owner of Jobs Boxing Gym in Benmore. Yeah, uh, my name is TJ Mackay and I'm 16 years old and I've worked at Jobs Boxing Gym. George Foggin. Uh, I fight for Benmore Victoria ABC. My name is Arsalan, I'm much I'm 16 years old. What got you into boxing, first of all? Um, it was about four years ago. Um, I suffered badly in school with bullying. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't seem to find a place to fit in. Yeah. And my dad was like, well, try sports. So mm -hmm. I tried a few sports. Football wasn't my thing. I've got mm -hmm. two left feet. <laughs> um, so then it came to a point where my dad was like, I used to do boxing. I was younger, I'd give it a go. Mm -hmm. So I came to the boxing gym. And yeah. Ma met Matt, the head coach, and fell in love with it ever since. Uh, it was my dad at the start, just wanted us to defend myself, learn mm -hmm. how to defend myself. So started Thai boxing, didn't like that. Uh, went to Wall's End, started boxing, didn't like that. Came here and liked it, just stuck at it. Uh, well, I had tough times at school, mm -hmm. and I wanted to improve my fitness, so I thought boxing was the right idea. What would you say, as a trainer, got you into the sport of boxing? Um, as a trainer, um, I just fell on of it, really. Mm -hmm. um, I had no aspirations to be a trainer once I stopped boxing myself. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just decided to walk in back at the gym one day, uh, help my old coach out. Mm -hmm. um, and like I say, within 12 months, he was saying to us, oh, you should go and get your coaching badges mm -hmm. and start coaching. Um, so basically, that was it. I never I never perceived being a coach or anything. It just, just sort of happened. Who would you say is your idol? Because I've heard a lot of boxers have different idols here and there. Who would you say is your idol? My idol is probably Muhammad Ali. Bit generic, but... Nah, I, I respect he, it. I respect it. He he just... The way he explained his fights and how he just portrayed himself as a man, and as a good human being, mm -hmm. from being back in the time, like, and he was black as well. So mm -hmm. he had really a lot of problems as well back in society mm -hmm. because people treated him differently because of his race and how he stood up to that and used his boxing to show a message. Yeah. It's going to be the sticky one I've got too. Um, Fair enough. My two idols is my dad and Matt. Um, mm. My dad being because like, he helps us for everything. He's not he's not just my dad, he's my best friend. Yeah. Um, you know, when, when I'm feeling low, I can talk to him. When I'm feeling good about something, I can talk to him. Mm -hmm. He gives us advice to better myself. Mm -hmm. um, same with Matt. Matt's like a, a father figure. Yeah. Um, it's like, when my dad's not here, Matt's always there. Yeah. We're always doing stuff together. And it's just a good bond. Yeah, I see what I mean, because I've had a couple of conversations with Matt. And like, he seems, like honestly, like a, such a nice person. Yeah. Like, I understand why people, a lot of people would like, want to stay here and see him, them, his, his, him as their, their idol. Yeah, he is, yeah. See... When I told people about what I'd be doing for this documentary, people were always like talking about, oh, I wanted to join a boxing club, but you know, this and that. Uh, for those type of people, would you recommend uh, them to start joining a boxing club? Yeah, definitely. It's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, not just for young kids, um, for all, all ages, all walks of life, mm -hmm. um, any colour, creed, religion. Mm -hmm. um, I think once people come into a boxing gym, um, it's and I'll not lie, it is tough. Yeah. Um, but I think because everybody knows it's tough, you, you gain that respect, um, and everybody respects each other, and it I think it bodes well for for them, not just in the boxing world, but in in like the community for general, you know. Uh, yeah, I would. It's you, the second you find out you're not made of glass, it's amazing. The, mm -hmm. the friends you make are honestly top mm -hmm. notch. You get along with them well. And, He's always talking when you're in the gym, it's just a lot of fun. Most boxers, they have like motivation to keep them like going in the sport, keep them like pushing forward. Would you say you have a motivation? And if so, what would be your motivation to keep going? My motivation is to get up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love my bed, but it's when I, when you wake up and you see the sun shining or mm -hmm. you see it raining, you just got to get up and go. Yeah. And motivation isn't to just go, oh, I've got I've to do this today. It's more of a, to get up, let's do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get out of the way, take life one step at a time. Mm -hmm. The person who motivates us the most, probably my dad. Just mm -hmm. getting us a train, trying to be the best who I can. It really helps us. Mm -hmm. So dad really and yeah this is one of the last questions it's a bit you know this is the ones I told you about um what has boxing done to help you personally well it's helped me uh, because the bullies used mm -hmm. to bully me don't bully any, me anymore mm -hmm. nice to me because boxing has helped me a lot mm -hmm. and it just uh, improved my 
how should I say, like my self esteem. Yeah. Because I'll, I I am a confident person. I'm not saying I'm not a confident person. Mm-hmm. But if like if bullies like they could be intimidating. Yeah. But now that I'm not intimidated by them, I don't care what they think. It's lots. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of true what people say um, mm-hmm. about boxing. It's like a big family. Yeah. And. It brings your family together. I mean, my mom helps out. My mom volunteers here. Yeah. Dad's boxing coach here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of brought it together. Yeah. Um, something to do as a family. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I suffered with mental health during lockdown mm-hmm. quite a bit, and I wasn't feeling myself. And I, I never did feel myself throughout the gym. Yeah. I think I was just because it was taking the main part of myself out of us. Mm-hmm. And then I come back to the gym and I felt tons better. Yeah. You know, I was a lot happier than where I was. Yeah. Um. But like I said, it's brung my family closer together. It's brung my confidence up loads. It's opened loads of new opportunities and new doors open for us. Then mm-hmm. with Matt yourself in the gym, they've done an absolutely amazing job for us in creating the young person I am. I boosted confidence so much. Mm-hmm. Like I was quiet kid before now just helped us a lot and mm-hmm. um, th- the thing about boxing is a lot of people like it's obviously a good way to learn self-defense but as like a trainer would you ever have any worries that not like discredit anyone at this gym w- would you have any worries that someone would be using it like for the wrong reasons if you get what i mean yeah not not at all um <sighs> Um, where we're situated as well, the West End, Newcastle, um, it's a tough area. Mm-hmm. It's a very tough area. Um, and a lot of these kids come in in the gym to burn that excess energy off so that they're not getting in trouble outside the gym. Yeah. Um, so ma- mainly the, the lads and lasses who come here now, they don't kind of hang around street corners not anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, so normally they come here, do the train, have a little bit of socialising in here. And then they're off back home, and yeah, the rest up, and um, like I think it it gives them that discipline where if something does happen out to them in the street and somebody is like starting to try and cause trouble with them, they can they've got the discipline to walk away from that situation, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, perfect. Um, yeah, that's all the questions. Would you want to quickly just throw a bit of advertisement for your for your club? Yeah, sure. Um, I see it. it's it's Job's Boxing Gym and Fitness. Um, in Bemmel in Newcastle upon Tyne yeah, come along try it out um, a great bunch of people here mm-hmm. uh, we do great work in the community as well um, so pop along everybody's welcome alright perfect thank you very much uh, would you have any questions or anything you would want to say to any people watching uh, not really just <laughs> give it a go continue with life and mm-hmm. always be positive and smile fair enough that's perfect thank you uh, I recommend you join a boxing gym if mm-hmm. it will help you with like, your school life and everything Mm-hmm. Alright, perfect, thank you. Give it a go. If it, if you're scared of it, it's fine, but it, that fear, don't let it stop you. It, mm-hmm. It's honestly the worst thing you can do. Alright, perfect, thank you very much. I've just finished talking to the people at Jobs Boxing Club, and what I've got to say, first of all, they're all really nice people. it up again you never know at least now I know a good boxing gym to go to I've thought about it I have thought about it